If you haven't watched the last video, you'll probably need to check that out because we show quite a few things for Telescope. Uh, we're going to use Telescope to explore Quick Fix today. Now, Quick Fix can come from a variety of different places. If you don't know anything about Quick Fix, we can go ahead and do a Help Quick Fix here. Help Quick Fix. Um, and the main thing that Quick Fix does is it's basically like a way where you can put a list of, generally speaking, file locations, like in a special buffer. And NeoVim knows that, and it can move between them. This feature actually goes all the way back to Vim. It's quite an old feature. I, really, the idea is sort of this edit, compile, edit cycle, which I really like. Um, and it lets you move through each one. So, so first thing we're going to do is let's just look for all the places where we search for function. Now, if we zoom out just a touch, we'll see um, our preview and everything. And you can see, like, this is where we have functions on every single spot. So let's just say now we press Control Q. Okay. That puts each of these items in the quick fix list. You can see right down here, we've got quick fix list. If we press enter, we will go to that line, right? Um, now to go back to this window, you can do control W and then J, something like this and control W K, same as your uh, original motions. But you actually don't even need to do that. You can just type the command like C next and you'll move to the next uh, location in the quick fix list. You can do C next again see next again and you see that we're moving down through each of the options this is usually a little bit easier you know if you're like a little bit more zoomed out and not in video mode like me but uh yeah and you can do c preve you can do c close you can do c open and that will open all of those it's obviously c for quick fix i, I don't know why anyways that's okay <laughs> I think it's for a compiler because like the compiler list of options and stuff like that. But I always laugh because C for quick fix. Anyways, so so that's sort of the very basics, which is already pretty nice, right? In the sense that you can move between those. And of course, we could we could map something to those, right? We could go Vim, key map, set, and we could do normal mode. And you could do something like um, maybe meta J. So for me, that's alt. You could change that to uh, command C next because I'll go like down right like this and if we run this line now i can do alt j and i can move through these and obviously if we did that then we'd probably also want to go to um the j here and go k and go c preve you could do different ones if you wanted and so now you can go alt j and alt k and you can move through the options that's really really fast you know what i mean you can move through them that's really cool if you're searching for something uh, another nice thing you can do is uh if you've done something like you're looking for all of the references so if you recall that's grr for references well would you look at that of course it also uses quick fix so if you want to move through all of the different references you can do that super easily right so it's actually pretty cool because a bunch of different things know how to put stuff into the quick fix list and then you can use the same commands to do all of those now you can actually do even cooler things inside of here. This is sort of the last thing that I want to do. Let's say we wanted to find these places where we wrote client and we wanted to call it just like uh, C instead, right? Um, so what we could do is we could do C do. That's for quick fix do, of course. And so we're going to do a command for each of these lines. So we can do S for substitute. That's what we normally do. So if I do S client and I say cool, uh, it'll substitute that on this line, right? So if I do C do S client and we just say C, we can actually also say GC for I want to be the one that uh, globally and checks each one. So we can say, yes, I want to replace that one. Ooh, I don't want to replace that client. I don't want to replace that one. I do for this and I do for that. So notice we went through each of the different spots in the quick fix list, right? And only those. We didn't find every single place client was in our whole repo. We only did the ones that we had inside of here. So I find that this workflow is pretty nice. Um, you could put references in there. You could put something from grep. You could do a search and replace over everything. Uh, it's quite easy. And you can do like quite complicated substitutions and even iterate through each one with the substitute command. If you don't know all the flags for substitute, you can check out the substitute command here and it'll give you a few options here like in S flags and it will tell you lots of good stuff. So anyways, that's just a quick thing about quick fix. I, ho I hope you like that. If, if you have something else you want to learn about quick fix or something you can do, let me know. Um, once again, the easiest way to get them inside of there from telescope is you can do something like 
uh, you maybe grep and then you press control Q. But you can also do it from other places like by doing references from LSP, which is GRR by default. Um, or you could write your own thing by doing something like set QF list and you could put your own stuff inside of quick fix list if you want to write your own functions to populate that. So that's it for now. You can also use make, but I don't really use make anymore. I prefer um, like just using the LSP for those. I guess the only other thing, I guess I'll just mention it since we're, since we're here and you're still here in the video, um, you can actually do diagnostic and I think this will set QF list, right? So we have diagnostic set QF list, right? That's what I set QF list vim.diagnostic right here set qf list right here okay awesome so this you can use to set diagnostics from the file into your quick fix list so i think if we have something like this we can do lua vim.diagnostic.set qf list and i think we probably don't even have to set it with any options and there you go we get all of our um errors you could also do if, if i had to guess without even looking we could probably do like buff equals zero like this or buffer maybe i don't know we can check in a second but i was hoping to guess ah okay fine we'll check we'll check we'll check diagnostic um vim right here let's go set qf list what does it say here ops namespace open open quick fix after setting titles very okay so this one will just set it for all of them that's fine so there's no filter on this one uh you could write your own that filters it only to the current file but either way this one's pretty nice because it will show you all the ones that you currently have open and so you can go through each of these and look them up so anyways that's all we've got for today you can put a bunch of different things into quick fix list you can navigate with all the same options um at the very least some simple key maps that you can do are something like this you could change it to whatever you like have a great day. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for hanging out.